Well, I've never done an unboxing video before, and I'm fairly new to collecting watches and vintage watches, And uh, but I'm excited to see this particular watch uh, that I received yesterday, uh, just opening it here, uh, from the Amsterdam Watch Company. They um, sell um, homages to watches like the uh, like the Rolex Submariner, uh, made, made in cooperation with uh, Squall. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Squally or Squall. Squall. Um, but recently, uh, they found something exciting, which was a uh, um, a supply of previously unused cases that had been used by Blanc Pond uh, to make. Uh, the early versions of the 50 Fathoms dive watch back in the 1950s. Uh, these were supplied by a, a case company called Rayville, uh, and Rayville made these cases for Blanc Pond for the 50 Fathoms, and um, apparently uh, a, a supply of them was discovered recently. And so, in cooperation with Squall, um, Amsterdam Watch Company uh, decided to uh, create um, or recreate, I guess, if you will, a vintage Blanc Pond type watch uh, by putting movements in them and uh, casing them up in these old vintage cases from the 50s. They didn't have very many. It looks like uh, it looks like the uh, number that I received here was number 33. Of this limited edition. I think they only had about 60 or so of these watches made. So um, here it comes in a in a nice, I'm quite honestly not sure if it's real leather or faux leather here, but a nice little leather uh, watch case um, with a story of these special editions. Here's the little booklet that comes with it that describes the, the two special editions. Um, uh, and it describes a little bit about the relationship of, of Blanc Pan and uh, Rayville. Here's the inside of the, the case that shows the Rayville uh, mark there. And um, a little bit about, I guess, how they discovered it. And here's the company, uh, Rayville. And the, the watches that they had cased up with these. So that's pretty exciting. And then just another little advertisement for the company, the Amsterdam Watch Company. So let's take a look at this watch. Uh, so it comes in this little case here with again some, I guess the warranty card. And, uh, and that shows that this was, as I, as I, as I recollected, um, the 30, 33rd out of a limited run of 60 of these watches. This is the Sabino face that they put on it, the little warranty card that comes with it. And then a little instruction on how to use your automatic movement. Um, I can't recall which movement they put in this watch, but, uh, but there's that. And uh, just tucking that away here so we don't lose any of that. Here's the watch. Uh, I had it put on a leather strap. Of course, these vintage divers were much smaller. Um, than modern divers. And I always have a, a bit of a challenge getting the uh, plastic wrap off here. I'll be careful not to scratch the case here, but uh, here we go, getting this plastic off of the case. And, um, and there it is, the, the uh, Blanc Pond, uh, quite a small case. Uh, I think 34 and a half, as I recall. Um, I guess I'll take that off later. But 34 and a half um, millimeters is the case diameter. You can see um, no crown guards there. And, uh, and that's what it looks like there. Looks like it's already uh, running. It has a nice uh, smooth movement there, kind of a the classic uh, numerical Arabic numerals at 12, 3, 6, and 9, kind of like the, the, 
the Rolex Explorer these days and many other watches like that. Uh, has a nice movable bezel. Interestingly, the bezel, much less, um, this is, again, remember this is a vintage case and I'm more accustomed to, to, the, to the bevel having a, a, a stiffer movement. It's a very smooth movement and it is bi-directional, not unidirectional there. And, uh, but that's what the uh, that's what the watch looks like in all of its glory there. Try not to get too many reflections there. Um, let's see what it looks like on the wrist. I'm I'm currently wearing a, an Omega a 300 amp 300 uh, diver, which of course will be much much larger than than that. Let's get this out of the way here. It's kind of distracting, isn't it? And uh, here's what it looks like with the, the strap that I chose uh, on the wrist. It's kind of hard to do looking through the... Uh... But there you go. There you have it. A nice, small, vintage diver on a... Uh, on a new old stock, recently discovered, Rayville case uh, that was used back in the day in the in the original or in the old Blanc Palm 50 Fathoms watch in the 1950s. So this is a new watch, but certainly has that um, certainly has that vintage vibe there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, like I say, the first, first that I've made, and um, I'll see you later. There's a little bit of a close-up look of it, just in case you wanted to see all of it was look like a little bit closer.